Hi, it's Anne from Anne Walsh Quilting, and I just wanted to share a tip with you that I recently learned from a handy quilter video. And that is when you're doing straight lines like this along a border edge or even in a middle section, which is the case with the current composition quilt I'm working on, to go down and up the same stitching line and then move over to the side. And that keeps all of your travel stitching on one side and it makes it look more even. So if you're coming down and then going across half an inch and up and then over across half an inch, you have kind of a uh, unevenness on each side of that border and you it, so every second time on each side you have some travel stitching and if you come down and stitch those lines even after your border is done you still have doubling up of stitching in every second section which doesn't always show and it's not a really big deal at all but this is kind of a cool way to avoid that if you want to so I've stitched the straight line that is um, what would be at the bottom it's closest to my body in this picture and I'm using the ditch above as my travel space because there's already thread building up there from other designs that I've been doing and so it's keeping the the stitching line closest to me very neat and tidy because I'm basically just meeting that line and going back up. So I just thought it was a cool tip to share. I found it unexpectedly as I often do when I'm searching other videos for ideas. I'm, I'm searching for a particular topic and then within the video they'll do something really cool that uh, I might not have noticed otherwise. So I thought I would share this even though some of you might already have seen this idea or maybe you're already doing it. If it's helpful to someone who maybe hasn't seen it then it's certainly worth sharing. So I'll show you a still picture at the end so you can see more of the border completed. Thank you very much for watching.